Hello friends, it is I, Self-Critical Automaton, and today we'll be play we will be playing more Hollow Knight in my vague attempt to establish a chiller style of stream than my usual high-energy constant talking, which is still very charm and calming to most people, but uh, damages my throat, because if I talk for two hours solid, I get sick. Due to some kind of inescapable internal damage, I suppose. So, uh... Uh, without further ado, let's jump right in. Is anyone watching? I don't know. Do I care? Yes. Will it stop me? No, because I am a professional, I say, um, at this at this medium, which uh, I'm not sure anyone can really... Well, no. There's plenty of people who do this for a living, uh, and they technically are professionals. I've already forgotten what my plan was the last time I stopped streaming. <clears throat> But I was probably going to explore somewhere and do something. The main thing we did last time was unlock the super long, super saiyan, extra charged, zoomy jump ability. Uh, and I'm not sure what that's actually unlocked for me to access right now. I've explored the places I remembered, so I think I'm going to head back down to the ancient basin. Because the next bottleneck that I can think of is evil black wavy prison energy, which is in a couple places. And I'm pretty sure that I get rid of that by going down here. Um, alternatively, yeah, alternatively, I could try and explore here, but that's where some of that prison energy is. And I'm not even sure how to reach this guy. I think I probably need the double jump, which, again, don't know where it is. So I guess I'm going to be heading down to the ancient basin. I may or may not fight a ghost along the way. I came down here before, actually, I, I now realise. I think there was something I missed down here. We also got the upgraded uh, basics. Well, not basic, the, the power slash ability. <coughs> Which is a more powerful slash. Surprise, surprise. I should double check and make sure this is working. Yep, mic's on, game audio is on, game visuals are on. Yep, we're all good. disappointed at my inability to scoot something into spikes. Hi, Wixthrove. Always lovely to see you. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's what I found. <clears throat> I guess I didn't miss anything here. I found everything there was to find. I thought that there was a uh, a boss icon, but there was not. Wow. Get exploded, idiot, I guess. I didn't even keep track of how severe my ghost was. I think there's a couple of ground smash zones around here as well that I haven't popped open. I could probably do with a bit of an investigation. This is where I died, isn't it? Where's my ghost?
Nobody likes getting ghosted. Clumsiest opening to a rousing round of Hollow Knight, I'll say that for free. Oh hey, there's a side access up above here. I saw that previously, but I had no idea how to reach it, but this should do it. I am a genius. I wonder if they can break that open. Maybe there'll be an NPC here later. The only lift in this entire kingdom not coated with spikes on top to trap unwary travellers like myself. squash him with the lift. <laughs> I think my favourite ineffectual enemy in this game so far are the noblemen with the little haircuts like that, who run at you wiggling their arms. <laughs> like, they'll hurt you if they hit you, but it's not entirely clear that they mean to. I call a shortcut. Rather than deal with six metric tons of bullshit, simply avoid it instead. No one said you have to. You can simply hit the bricks instead. A narrow escape. Haha, <laughs> get lured into a narrow space far less conducive to your pike based fighting style, idiot. Hmm. 
Hmm. Actually. Do I know what goes this way? Did I go this way yet? I must have done, right? <gasps> oh, I don't. Okay. Time to find out. Ho ho ho, another area. Oh wait, no, I did find this previously. I've been here. I recognise this. I guess I just don't have a map for it. Oh, the hive. Oh, that's right. I was exploring the hive. Right, right, right. I'd completely forgotten about that. Uh, hmm, I will come back for the hive later. Although if it does turn out to be the only zone I can explore into at the moment, then I'll come back, obviously. I've got an ornate key for an ornate door, but I've lost track of where the ornate door is. Other than that, my only progression method currently is the aforementioned uh, Kamehameha. What the hell? I missed this previously. A true servant gives all for the kingdom. Let Hollow Nest's pale king relieve you of your burden. Drop all Geo into the fountain. Sure, why not? What's going to happen? Absolutely fuck all. Presumably if I give it enough money, eventually something will happen. Huh. This must be the most recent one i found, I guess. Because he normally disappears. Aha, I need a double jump to get through here. The double jump, which I as yet still do not have. Did I buy the ornate key? I thought I found it. I remember finding it. Do I have... Yeah, I don't think there's any cut-off doors in the sewers that I found that I can't open yet. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Our pure vessel has ascended. Beyond lies only the refuse and regret of its creation. We shall enter that place no longer. Ah, okay, so I don't need a key for this door. I'll need something, though. So yeah, my working theory for what's going on down here is that something allowed the bug people to become bug people rather than simply just bugs. And whatever ancient sin allowed them to first become sentience, its, it's remnant is down there. Since the bottom of the world seems to be an infinite crawling expanse of infinite crawling horrors, above, above which, physically above which, which is a nice metaphor, um... Did I? I saw. Huh. I think it's possible to cancel your flight, but I can't remember how. <laughs> okay, so if it's possible to cancel my flight, I can refrain from zooming into spikes. Is this outside? This feels outsidey. Ah, uh, double jump again. Concerning. What I don't know is if the orange parasitic curse that's destroyed this civilization and to prevent the escape of which it was all sealed away, 
is connected to that consciousness. Or if perhaps this infinite crawling horrors at the bottom of the world is unrelated to that and maybe they simply created something that they should not have done. Um, and so this this place down at the bottom of the world is related to uh, that instead. That would fit with what that um, higher being's message said about... I mean, it said something about some kind of apotheosis, so that would make some sense. this one. succession of nasty boys squirting out a succession of nasty slimes. A tale as old as time. A tale as old as slime. Anyway, hi there, acrylic spatter. Always lovely to see you. Maybe it tastes like orange. Come on, seriously? Are you, are you really bringing that Bringing that here. Obviously it's peach flavoured. Come on. Oh, shortcut. Eep. Oh, okay. Well. It doesn't look quite vivid enough for mango. Mango is a very saturated colour. Yelling louder won't get you your own way. I mean, you can yell manga all you like, but you won't, will you? we can compromise and say it tastes like a mangle. That was the shortcut. Hey man, what's up? Gonna fight me? Think you're a big man? Think you're a big bug? Gonna fight me? Gonna attack me? Gonna gonna poke holes in me with your big nail? Hey! Hey human. I'm about to fight this guy. another extremely soulsy boss fight. Oops. Oh man, this is way far away.
I'm going to assume that Acrylic Spatter does not like him because he is gross. And I'm going to assume that Wooks Fred likes him because he is a weird but fun looking weird creepy fun boss fight. And we all like those. I thought for sure there was another another room at the bottom of here. But I didn't go down. Trip on all the spikes, fall in all the holes. Win all the video games. Yeah, down here. Oh, I see. A simple key! Oh, fantastic! Now I can open... something. Oh, yeah, the... the banker who ran off with all my money. I can go murder her and get my money back. Also, curious that... this guy seems to have been inside a thing. <laughs> Which I think is one of the weird parasitic things. So kind of like... Uh... Kind of a reciprocal? That's not the word. Kind of a... What's the word that means things inside it? Recursive. A nice recursive parasitism going on. I think there's a lightness to the colour which ma which makes it think me of makes me think more of uh, peach. Mango's just not that pale. I really for sure thought there was another hole around somewhere. That's what she said. Hmm. Oh well. Spooky ghost time. Oh, if you can hear a groaning noise, that is in fact the terrible pipes in my apartment. Not many opportunities to heal with this guy. Hmm, yes, instead of free hits, I think I will decline and it will instead wail on you a bit more. Vertical bullet hells, they're pretty tough.
This might take a few tries. There's probably some different thingamajigs I can equip. Hmm. I'll probably drop Steady Body and Wayward Compass. That frees up three slots. I could armor myself while healing, but I don't think I have enough time to heal regardless. I don't think any of these are especially useful. Hmm. Maybe I will try out one I haven't tried before, such as Dream Shield. <laughs> Which attempts to protect me, unless I do something stupid like that. damage when it hits them? <clears throat> if it just hits something, what benefit is that? Okay, it definitely broke some of the conjured bubbles, so there's that at least. I guess my shield does damage if it hits. I thought it was going to be another phase. Oh, well played. Was this is this a tough boss fight? <laughs> I thought it would be a lot tougher than it was. Is that all he did? He just all he does is just stop me from going in that room. Sure is primordial down here. Oh, finally. Oh, hell yeah, at last. Suddenly this game opens up massively. We double jump in now. ghost or can I dream him? Oh, 
Oh. I think there was something about using the dream nail to fight bosses again. Which means I might be about to fight this guy again, which I didn't mean to do, but, you know. Sometimes these things happen in life. I mean, I do love to throw myself at these like, kinds of challenges, but I also think that doing that usually makes for bad radio. <laughs> so, I think... If he kills me, I'm not going to come back again. Because apparently I can come back and do this for most of the bosses and fight them on hard mode, which is definitely a challenge I would take... Uh, if I was playing this by myself. But as it is, I think I'm happy just uh, working my way through the bosses and calling it video games. I think there was somewhere in the... Oh, hang on, I can go up here. Haha. -ha. There's so many places that having the double jump has now opened up to me that I straight up don't even know where to go first. risk of a violent death is always worth helping a caterpillar. This is true in real life as well. If you ever see a caterpillar in need, you should help them out. that you can zoom through zones that way. I definitely want to put the wayward compass back on. I'll take this one off and I'll put the wayward compass on. That leaves me with one more extra slot. What did I have activated previously? Oh, I had the dash. Dash master. I want dash master back. These three... These... Three is so useful. I definitely need to need I definitely need to go get the other uh bonus bit of nail space. Oh hey, what's stopping it going from, from going to the palace grounds over there? Oh, double jump. <laughs> Again, always the double jump. See, it blocked off goddamn everything.
Hmm. The palace grounds seems probably like where the king is, and the king is probably responsible for a lot of bad stuff. And I'm seeing a lot of hostile arch- That's a king, if you ask me. A corpse in white armour. I mean, he looks kingly. And he's immune to dream nail. I probably get some artifact that'll let me fight him at some point. This game is obsessed with giving you artifacts that allow you to fight people. <laughs> oh, just enough. Is this spider silk? The spiders live very far away though. They look like spools of something. Hey man, what's up? What station is this? Hidden all the way at the bottom of the world. Until I heard the bell calling, I didn't even know the stagways travelled so deep. You've discovered something quite astounding. No matter how old I grow, the world still keeps surprises tucked away. Hey Lisa. This is probably- I bet this is an end boss. I bet this is the, the last guy you fight in the game. Here's that vibe. I love this- this gate behind him. No, not the stag beetle. I would never fight such a noble and upstanding gentleman. I do need to find out where the elegant key was supposed to be used, though. Because I'm sure I found the door for it, I just don't know. I don't remember where it was. Okay, well, uh, what I was expecting to find down here was some kind of magic to let me remove the weird smoke barriers, but those are not gone. Or I do not have the capacity yet to remove them. I think I've explored this place fully, though. Let's see. Ancient Basin, Royal Waterways. I don't think it was in Royal Waterways. King's Station. Not sure. Not sure if there was a door around here somewhere. In the fancy zone. The fancy guy zone. Although, but now that I have double jump, I can probably get further. In fact, I should be able to get from here, up through, now that I have double jump. Whoops. There's probably some double jump accessible zones over here as well. Hmm. Although, there's something accessible down there that I didn't go pick up. So I could take the tram over there and see what that's about. Or I could head on up to the city. Actually, no, I'm going to go up to the city and get my money back from that goddamn banker who stole it all. Oh boy. I need to get used to having a double jump. I've spent, what, like 15, 20 hours of this game so far bemoaning my lack of a double jump. And here I am having- oh, there's something over there. Back as far as the the greenway, I remember. Oh, I need to come back here when I double see have a double jump moments. A wanderer's journal. That wasn't worth almost dying, and I don't even know how I'm supposed to get back. Oh, okay, that was a bit easier than I expected. Still. Kind of a minor reward. That's probably what I'll find in most of the double jump locations, because obviously they can't be too important if you... Because you might not remember to go back for it. Uh, where am I going? Oh yeah, up. 
is up easier with double jump, you'd think, but probably not. Because my muscle memory is still all for ordinary jump. Every time I go past that, I think it's a door. I suppose I could have crystal hearted across the whole thing, but when I see multiple verticals, I don't generally don't think to use the crystal heart because I don't want to get uh, I don't want to run into something and die. Haha! -ha, this must no wait, hang on, that's a hot spring. That's not what I want. I'm sure this somewhere around here has to be where that banker is hiding. So it's not these two houses. And it's probably not the, the locked hot spring either. absolutely gonna lose my mind. If I don't figure it out sooner or later I will probably just resort to looking it up because I'm trash. Although I haven't looked anything up about this game yet so the process of exploration is still legitimate. I mean, I suppose that's a fair point about hot springs. And I suppose if I was a wealthy banker who fled with the gathered wealth that was all that remained of an ancient kingdom, I would probably go to the only remaining nice place to be. Songstress Marissa, a voice to ease all burdens and still troubled minds. Oh, this is nice. This is kind of delightful. This is, um... A portrait. A portrait of a singer with, with garlands of flowers thrown in front. Like a memorial, I guess? But also, like, you get at, you know, the performance locations of famous performers. This is, this is a theatre, isn't it? fascinated by the by this this bug people culture and I, I always want to know more about it but I really respect the creative decision to leave it all completely mysterious like even for games that leave things mysterious about their worlds this leaves a lot of stuff mysterious and uh, I think it makes for a better story in the long run because whatever Whatever you kind of feel like it might be, the the sort of tantalizing lack of knowledge makes it spicier. So not only is whatever you imagine usually better than whatever turns out to have been the answer, but also, um, even if it's not, it feels like it would be just by virtue of being mysterious. Aha! Oh, hello again, Derry. Fancy running into you here. Is it your Geo you're after? Well, you see, it's a sad thing, but it's gone. All spent. The cost of running a bank can be rather high, so I had to charge a large service fee to your account. Perfectly legitimate, of course. Just the whole banking deal. But so thank, thank you so much for visiting me. Run along now, won't you? If you'll allow me some privacy, I'll be done soon, and then you can have the spa to yourself. Don't call me creepy. Even if it is only in your own thoughts. Hello, Ma. Hello, Ma. I 
I don't want to murder her, but if she doesn't give me my money, I'm inclined to. Your geo issue, you should know it was a big stress on me as well. Such a stress, in fact, that I've left the banking game for good. I gave her over 4,000 geo. This is going to take a while. She's a large beetle. She can take this punishment. It's fine. Yeah, it does have it does have some. Uh, except it has a legitimate righteous fervor behind it. You know, she did steal my money, rather than just not give me money I claimed was owed based on <clears throat> the weird feudalism of the mafia. Is this just infinite money? I assumed I would get back what I put in, but I've already gained more than I ever gave her. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's your lot. can't talk to her anymore. Oh well. Oh shit, you're right. Interest. I should have thought of that. But I'm not a banker. Yeah, sure. I will leave you with your life. <clears throat> Anytime you ever uh, think about how close you came to death. Remember how merciful I was. Is this a DLC character, I wonder? Oh wait, no, she's a ghost, right? She's got the dream dream sparkles. Welcome to my stage, little one. I am Marissa, a songstress of some renown. Though given the sorry state of this place, you may find it hard to believe. Huge crowds once flocked to hear me sing, and then something changed. The audience, once so enwrapped, began to leave. I continued to sing, and yet my voice fell silent upon their ears. Perhaps you'd care to listen to me sing, and be the first in an age to hear it. Even if it's only you, it's a wonderful thing to have an audience again. Well, that's nice. As uh, a continuing and consistent theme on my on my channel has been the fact that it is always correct to be polite to ghosts. Right, now that I've got my moolah back, I should go spend it. Which means I need to find my way back up to the surface.
I think I've uncovered most of the zones in the game now. Just the fact that I've got like more than two thirds of the of the pins makes me feel like I'm more than two thirds of the way through the game. I've been playing fairly exhaustively though. Ooh. Oh wait, no, that was there already. I forgot at the end of last stream I accidentally activated the DLC. But I don't want to do the DLC stuff until I've done most of the main core game. Oh yeah, I'm so full of soul. What else is there even to spend it on? I think there's one pin left to get, one slot. Ooh, tram pin. Okay, that's worth having. Oh yeah, I forgot that the crossroads has become all ooky and slimy. Tragic, really. Let's see, I want to go to the bottom right so that I can get the uh, upgrade-y thingy. The extra pin slot, or whatever they're called. Trinket? Pin? Nook? What are they called? If I'll ever get any orange slime upgrades. Oh hey, why does my stream manager say that this is oh wait no, it's fine. Ignore what I was gonna say. <clears throat> I'm bad at reading. Huh, I don't think this had a spike in it before. I don't think it had this background either. Maybe that's relating to having activated the DLC. Do you wear a lot of charms at once? It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Mixing and matching them to get the perfect combination. I don't know whether you've noticed, but some charms seem to like each other. Hmm, when charms like each other, they shine even brighter and sing more sweetly. Even more reason to try all sorts of fun and surprising combinations. You'll show me whenever you have a new favourite, right? Huh, does that mean that if you combine... If you combine certain combinations of pins, you get bonus ones, maybe? Bonus effects? Huh. Neat. Notches, that's what they're called. <gasps> She'll give me a special blessing if I get 40 charms, which must be all of them. What's this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, if I get every charm if I get every charm in the entire game, she'll give me something. Perhaps some kind of sexy blessing? What am I doing? Oh yeah, I need to go find somewhere to go do stuff. I'm gonna go to the green path and find out what that thing I've been looking at for the entire game and wondering what is is. There's probably some double jumps I should do around here as well. Also, somewhere there was a secret boss. A secret mini-boss? That was like a big squibbly guy with loads of spikes on. And I think I accessed him through this zone. But I don't... remember where or how. I 
I heard there was a secret boss, the kind you fight and take the loss. <laughs> Hallelujah. Shortcut. It seems like some of the animals have adapted, or some of the creatures have adapted, to living with the orange parasite stuff. And some of them haven't. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but it seems like some of them are just sort of naturally part of it. Like, these flies feel like they've... They just seem like they've adapted to it. I still think there must be, oh I've been this way. I still think there must be a secret that lets me go through poison water. Or maybe that lets me dive in water. Where was that boss? I'm sure he was around here somewhere. right? I bet it was in this hole. If I know one thing about video game bosses, it's that they like to hide in holes in the ground. This looks like it. Hell yeah. Not a very clean fight, I definitely could have done that better, but hey, once it's dead, who cares? Would I prefer to simply be skilled enough to do everything with finesse? Yes. Uh, will it happen? No. Am I skilled enough to do things without finesse? 
but still succeed? Yes. That's all we really want. Ow. Seems like the green path hasn't been touched by the corruption yet, although I don't doubt it will be eventually. I mean, these guys were here, so I guess they've been touched to that extent, but you know what I mean. They've been filled up with big gloopy pods. Which is the real extent of corruption. One of these long, narrow rooms has what I'm looking for. There's, an, there's a, a bit, cliffy bit like this, except there's a long underhang. down here, maybe. Yeah. There it is. Haha. <laughs> oh, and actually any of those upgrades would have got me here. Double jump or uh, the power dash. Although I suppose the double jump wouldn't get me back. And you need the power zoom to get back anyway. So I guess you have to have all three to get out. <laughs> Alright, well that's what I was curious about here. Ooh, I could just, I bet that needed the long zoom. Time to go find out, I guess. a ghost I could fight. <laughs> I guess I'll go get ready to fight the ghost and then I'll fight the ghost and then I'll go look at the other thing. Which means it's your duty to remind me that I've forgotten to go do the other thing after I go fight a ghost. Well, you should have thought of that before you over-invested in uh, artistic skills at the cost of brain cells. tried this one previously. But I've got two weapon upgrades and various other upgrades since then. I say falling into the hole like a fool and dying.
You know, it feels like the less like the boss is the boss in this room. A little bit more like the room is the boss. Oh shit, I have an extra hit point. Fuck, okay. I think I'll take one more crack at this one. Not least because I have, like, multiple thousands of, uh, oh for fuck's sake, multiple thousands of, uh, stuff left in my corpse. And if there's anything more dangerous in this world than an impoverished thousand air, uh, it's most of them. Bring it, spookums. Oof. do worse this time. <laughs> Significantly worse. This one feels like bullshit, which is usually a sign that I need to get good. But it's really hard to predict whether ghosts are going to spawn. I think maybe this ghost is a ghost I do not need to be polite to. Regardless, I think I don't quite have enough brain to fight this one, so I'm going to go exploring instead. You, get back in me at once. Thank you. Does save a lot of time. Okay, so I've been this way before, but there's clearly an unexplored chunk at the far zone, end of the zone. So that's what I'm hoping to find something interesting in. Oh, this must be it, right? I couldn't get across here before. Oh no, I, I could, right? Because I have. Whoops. the way back. Oh, it's blocked off by a vertical. Hmm, that's no good. A 
pale being lays claim to the caverns ahead. It may appear benevolent, but does not share our dream. But how do I get in there? This is just the way back. You can't get it from Howling Cliffs. Maybe you can get from below. Maybe. Maybe there's uh, somewhere from the foggy zone. That must be it. Okay, well this was a colossal waste of time. In which case, I think my next goal should be to work my way through here. <clears throat> which means I should head to the uh, transit station. Or I could simply die. That's always an option. Oh, the station in Fog Canyon. Yeah, no, you're right. That is that is the faster way. Oh, again, or death. I didn't think of the station Fog Canyon because I don't have the map for Fog Canyon because the corner foot in Fog Canyon is cleverly hiding behind big old gate. By gate, I mean weird magical boundary consisting of uh, ambulatory shadow, which is extremely menacing. Rather less menacing than my ghost here. Who is a chump and easily defeated. What this says about me, considering that's my soul, should not be countenanced. Oh yeah, gravity and shit. People definitely come to self-critical automaton dot dot twitch dot uk uh, for crippling incompetence boom there it is <laughs> I mean commuting is longer if I commit a lot of assaults but the thing is those guys are between me and where I'm going I do I do jump over the vast majority of enemies in my defense. The squids are just big, they occupy more space. What I'm saying is that you have more of a moral justification for assaulting someone who is standing in the middle of the, the uh, pavement than you do someone who is standing to one side of the pavement. There we go again. Wait, where's my ghost? Shouldn't he be here? Isn't this where I died? 
But I don't hear spooky ghost music. I still don't hear a spooky ghost. Oh, I remember this place. I didn't go this way because I couldn't yet. Yeah, I think to get under that I need the stinky... the stinky water passage ability. There's a couple places I've noticed where that seems to... Aha! Here's the spooky ghost. <laughs> get exploded, idiot. Ah, uh, I knew my pointless and violent assaults would uh, turn out to be to my benefit eventually. Hey, seriously, what's your deal? Still no new, still no new words out of this one. going to go to King's Station. King's Cross St Pancras, the heart of London. to explore properly. They ain't so tough. Even if they do have a million locked doors that I can't break open everywhere. Which feels like cheating. Uh oh. Am I actually going to have to fight one of these guys finally? These guys do two damage. Oh, okay. So they aren't that tough. Still tougher than I would like. Hey, did these guys respawn? Didn't know they were allowed. Ooh, a smashed elevator. I 
I'm taking a lot of chump hits today. It's a nice little detail that the magic, or electric rather, lanterns are lit by little tiny bugs. Their cities are built out of bug shells. <clears throat> Their fabrics are spun out of bug silk. The only metals that they see that seemed I mean they use a lot of metal for their structures actually. <laughs> I take it back. I'm just gonna ignore everything I was about to say. <clears throat> but it is a nice detail how um the idea that these are bugs and all of their stuff is bug based. Is baked into everything. Do you think they use cochineal as a dye? <laughs> That's a grim thought, huh? I need to kill that guy. Like, is he guarding something? Is there something in the middle worth grabbing? see anything apart from more bug portraits and a shortcut which he was not guarding in any way This seems like a fairly blunt path up to the next of the main bosses. They're kind of just like the big guys that you can fight right at the very beginning of the game. As long as you, um... As long as you just bait out the attack, you can just step out of range and then back in again to strike.
Oh, this looks bossy. Time to fight a guy. What kind of guy will I fight today? Ah, a knight. Seems like most of the guys I fight are knights. Oh, okay, I'm starting to see why this might be difficult. How, do I, how many of these are gonna, am I going to have to fight simultaneously? Because I'm not here for this Four Kings shit. This one. I think it'll be technically slightly far technically slightly faster to go from the other space. Haha, <laughs> you my dust. Cause I think there's a thing right over here. Oh. Well, no, that's probably further. I might have to fight few things, but there's a a lift. And lifts don't play nice. No, it's definitely better to just go to the uh, just use the other uh, other bench. probably worth remembering to send these back down so that I don't have to call them back every time. So it's determined to make me fight two at once, then. That much is clear. God damn, how do you do this?
Ah. This is going to be a rough one. I think I probably need to be focusing on defense. I do think the degree to which they can just like they jump into a ball and then that attack animation can lead that that can, that animation can lead into like four different attack animations, which means it's basically not telegraphed at all what they're gonna do. It looks like I can provoke st more static attacks by, by doing verticals, maybe? And that gives me time to heal, potentially. I should have been a hit on me, but it didn't. Is he 
he the last one? I think he's the last one. No, there's at least one more. Or is there? No, I think he's the last one. Double parry. Never done that before. Boom. And there it is. <sighs> and yet another gating boss. Where the only reward is that they stop standing in your way. I understand the necessity, but it does feel like kind of a shame every time it happens. I want rewards, you know? I want my numbers to go up. See, this is all just money. Who cares about money? I want like a triple jump or a more powerful laser beam or something. So pretty. I love the I love I I love the com it's it, it's odd to talk about composition in something that's uh, you know as adaptable as a game where a player can change the way something looks simply by moving the character around. But I feel like these windows were absolutely set up for this purpose for you to stand in it and look longingly out over the rain. You know, have a moment of contemplation in the midst of your ceaseless violence. Oh, is that it? I thought for sure there was... I thought there was something in there, but no. I guess it's just pictures of some guy. Well... Hello Nest's top 15 elevator failed. Most popular video on you, Grub. <clears throat> or would it be GrubTube? You can tell I get impatient sometimes. Ooh, first person. I think I got to look through a first person telescope before in this game, didn't I? Ages ago? Hmm. Whoever he is, he's watching the city from above. Painting of the city's spiky rooftops. And yet more of these traveller's journals. Hmm. aged attendant is... <laughs> I love the way they go wobbly-woo. Okay. A sleeping figure lays atop the stone plinth. Time for the next of the load-bearing bosses, although the last one wasn't a fight. Hey man, what's up? Can we, can we talk? For King Beloved, to sleep to serve. Bonds must remain. Is this one also not going to fight me? That makes me feel even more like maybe what I'm doing is not a good thing. That's two, baby.
cool, I murdered someone in their sleep again. Go me, the hero. Seems darker up here now. So it seems like the King of Hallow Nest and the Hollow Knight, neither of them are of the three people who sealed the evil, dangerous, bad stuff away. The three people that we're hunting, of whom two and have now, two have now been uh, slaughtered without difficulty. Hmm. Curious and curiouser and curiouser. Although Hollow Curiouser would be a different game. Hint, a Curiouser is a kind of a horseman. <clears throat> Named because they wear a cuirass, which is a kind of armour. I'm not even sure where to go next. <clears throat> These games often have a kind of a guidance NPC who tells you roughly what you should be doing. I'm not sure Hollow Knight has one of those. Still need to figure out what the ornate key was for though. Finding an ornate door, but where? That's a that's a door, but it, it wasn't locked by a key. I think there's a door here somewhere. I remember there being one. Oh, it's this. That's what I'm thinking of. <clears throat> what was napping? Oh, maybe oh, that was it up here in Crystal Peak. That's what I'm thinking of. I guess that's where I should go next. Unless I want to go do the wasps, uh, bees nest rather. Also, I'm not sure that the that the three sealer people are paid exactly. I mean, I suppose their existence is maintained by various servants keeping them alive in their slumber, but that's not really the same thing. Slumber's a good word. I should use slumber more often. Slumber's a good activity. I should slumber more often. don't think there's anywhere for me to spend my money except for to throw it in the fountain to possibly no effect. Oh, I thought I'd read this one, but I actually haven't. But still, he didn't say anything interesting. Hmm. No help here. I guess I will just go up to the Crystal Peak.
I think there was also a double jump limited place up here as well. Yeah, up and to the right. It's this guy again. Oh shit. I wasn't quite ready for a boss fight. He's gonna kick my ass. That's fair. I mean, I suppose it's possible to theorise an ethical having your existence maintained by servants, in which the servants, you know, are well remunerated and uh, dedicated to you in some way, where they just think you're great and want you to remain in, in existence. Is supremely dangerous. I feel like the devs knew this guy was difficult considering they put him directly above a save point. funny whenever it glitches and he shoots himself in the balls. <laughs> I don't know what's causing that, but I, uh, I appreciate it. Whenever he gets, uh, whenever he gets too close to the wall, it seemed to reflect. I don't think it was supposed to. It didn't look like it was supposed to. Hell yeah, extra hit point. I knew murder was a good idea. So much money and nowhere to spend it and nowhere to save it. This is the worst of both worlds.
Oh hey, these guys have them now. Crystal Caves have a really clashing aesthetic with the rest of the game, which I think is kind of surprising. One of the remarkable things about it is that even though it's, you know, caves and caverns and magical jungles and stuff, all the classical fantasy hallmarks, uh, the visual identity of the game remains really different and clever and interesting with its constant repeated use of uh, nautiloid imagery and fossil imagery and... And, you know, bug shell motifs and so on. But here, it really is just every every magic crystal cave in every video game. Which is a little bit disappointing comparatively. I'm gonna come back when I have enough soul to get through that, that took by killing those things with laser blasts. Cut! I scream, kicking in the afterburners. less than ideal. I don't even know what's up here. I could have gone to the ma big magic door, but instead, instead I chose violence.
These guys must have done so much damage if I wasn't... I mean, had so many hit points, rather. Because I've upgraded my sword multiple times, and they still take three hits to kill. You know what they say, those who live by the poorly defined laser blaster, die by the poorly defined laser blaster. Because I kill them. I don't even know what I'm hoping to find up here. As they say, not all those who wander are lost, but I sure am. More surface shit, hell yeah. What kind of weird, terrible things are going on up here? Oh, these icons are different. Each of these is a different icon. I wonder if they correspond to the stones I've found that tell me things about higher beings. They look like they might be the same sigils. Pale ore, yes, I can upgrade my sword again. Fantastic. Oh shit. Whoa. Oh boy. Look, there were two further ways. I wonder what happened or how I would get down that one. And also there was clearly another path I could have taken up there. Because of the things. There's that space on the other side, so there's like another way down, somehow. Hey, why can't I? There we go. Uh-oh. Hmm, I guess not. There must be another way to access that, though. that way. Maybe that's from below, from the other below place. Aha, so that's the other pipe. <laughs> Funny. 
Now, was this the ornate door? No, apparently not. Where the hell was the ornate door? I remember an ornate door somewhere. That's gonna drive me insane. Thanks for abbreviating my journey, asshole. But that's all that's here. So how is there a how is there another visible zone up there if it's not accessible? Hmm. I guess I'll have to figure out another time where the door is, because all I know right now is that somewhere there is a big ornate fancy door. I'm sure I didn't buy the ornate key. I think I remember finding the ornate key somewhere. Yeah, I found the door and then I got the key and then I can't remember where the key was. The door was, rather. This one, the elegant key. I'm sure I didn't buy that. Hmm. Mysterious. says ornate key made from a glistening white metal bears the mark of hollow nest soul sanctum and glows faintly in the dark oh i guess it's the key to the soul sanctum but i don't remember where i found that except that it's somewhere still that'll be a puzzle for the next time i'm gonna upgrade my sword so i don't forget but then that will be it for today because my ass hurts because i've been sitting here for so long Well, goodbye. <laughs> Where the hell am I going? All the way back to the tutorial zone. Wow. I didn't expect that to happen, or to work if it did. <laughs> Place where the adorable mistakes misused the soul. Uh, was that down here? Maybe. God, I don't remember at all.
Oh, the big wizard boss fight. I remember him. Oh, that's where the door was? Okay. Huh. I would. I don't think I ever would have thought to look back there. Although, in hindsight, I should have. I think City Storerooms is the closest to the nail smith. Yeah, so, yeah, no, you're right. Continuing the pattern of extremely dark soulsy things in <laughs> in Hollow Net, Hollow Knight. What is that parallel fifteen we've uh, we've seen now? Like it's in the big things and the small things. It's in the themes and the details. Yeah, no, I need to drop straight down from here, but... Ah, okay, so that's just the outside of the, of the mountain. Okay, that's where I could see it. So I didn't miss anything there. That's good to know. I'm a genius. Hey man. Ah, Ranjo Stenja. I came to get nailed. Two fifty, eight hundred and two thousand. I wonder how much the next one will be, if there is a next one. Here we are. The reforging is complete. I've modified the nail to spiral form. A very tricky task it was. You'll find it stronger than ever before. Off you go now. Cut your way forward. Pretty sure that's a drill. Is there something else you want? If you bring me three pieces of pale ore. Ah, I see how it is. It took me ages to find two. I think three will probably be the final upgrade. I'd be very surprised if there was another one after that. Let's see. I do kind of want to know what was in that soul sanctum because I won't remember. Oh, there's the door. I see it now. There it is. I missed it previously. I'm going to check it out because otherwise I'll forget. But that will be the last thing I do today. Or possibly forever. If I don't die of sitting too long in this chair, but itis.
Pit stop for murder. Big magic key, big magic door, big magic treasure. It better not just be Geo. I really have more, more, more of that than I know what to do with. Oh, fuck off. I would say that I have had it with wizards, I think. Bunch of assholes. Can I give me time to heal? Yowza. Okay. I think I'm going to call it here for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me on this strange and wonderful journey. I will catch you again later. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe and share. I also stream on Twitch and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.